guys, it's Zhang and today I'm going to be sharing some spooky Halloween snacks that's fit for monsters and witches. Today's video is sponsored by Kroger where you can find ingredients fresher than fresh. Alright, so I'm going to start off by making something that will not only fill you up, it's super delicious too. It's going to keep you full for hours and not spike that blood sugar. I'm going to be making some butternut squash hummus. I found this butternut squash, it's like the perfect size at Ralph's where I live or Kroger where you might live. All I'm gonna do is cut it in half, peel it and then cut it into small chunks. For something this big, I like to just go in the middle and get my knife down there. Hard squashes sometimes can be pretty challenging to cut but this is the way that I found is easiest and safest. So I'm gonna need about two cups. I'm gonna go with the bigger one. All the ingredients you can find at Kroger this Halloween season include the freshest selection of produce, pantry staples, baking goods, and everything in between to surprise and delight your guests in the best Halloween costumes. So I have roughly two cups of butternut squash here and I'm just gonna add it into my bowl. So I'm gonna be roasting the butternut squash in the oven to make sure it's fully cooked before we grind it up for the hummus, but I'm gonna season it just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, cumin, and a drizzle of olive oil. Give it a good mix. And then we'll just go ahead and transfer it onto our baking sheet. I'll roast this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes until it's fully cooked, soft, and golden brown. These could be like butternut squash fries. All right, so our butternut squash have cooled down for about five minutes. It's You can cool it down till it's completely cool or you can start um, blending it all up, but I'm gonna add it to my blender. A whole can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas that I'm gonna go ahead and drain. You can definitely use like white beans as well. That makes it a little bit creamier, but typically for hummus, I like to use garbanzo or chickpeas. The whole can. And now we're just gonna flavor it up. So typically you would add garlic in here as well, but I actually found this garlic tahini two in one at Ralph's. Um, it's the Simple Truth Organic brand, which is their private label. And I'm just gonna eyeball about a quarter cup in. Then I'm gonna add some salt, a little more cumin, smoked paprika, lemon juice, another drizzle of olive oil in here, and then we give it a whirl. If you find that your hummus is a little bit too thick, just go ahead and add just a tablespoon of water at a time until it's the perfect consistency that you want. So for this hummus, I like to serve it with some blue corn tortilla chips. Something nice and dark. Okay, let's give it a try. It's creamy, super flavorful. I love the caramelization that you can taste from the butternut squash. Even better, that when you look at this, you can't really tell I snuck half of a whole squash in there. It makes me feel so much healthier. All fingers point to spooktacular. For our next one, it's a pretty complete snack with a little bit of ghoulishness. And what's more ghoulish than bloodshot eyeballs? We're gonna make spicy deviled eggs. So here I'm using Simple Truth Organic large brown eggs. I've already hard boiled them off by steaming them. If you are ever making deviled eggs, I highly suggest that you steam them instead of boiling them. It just makes it a lot easier to peel. So I'm gonna peel them off. I found that steaming them for nine minutes is the perfect amount of time for beautiful yolks. And see, steaming them gets the peel sliding right off. Another peeling tip that I have is if you find the shell a little bit hard to take off, just run it under water, like very little bit of water to get underneath the skin and then it should come right off. Now I'm just gonna cut each egg in half and then remove the yolk into this bowl. And now I'm gonna add some mayo, Dijon mustard. I'm using a pesto mayo here just to give it a nice flavorful kick. Some salt, and then to give it a salty, briny, vinegary, vinegary <laughs> kick to it, I'm using pickle juice. I'm using bread and butter pickle because it has a little bit more sweetness to it that I think balances out the deviled eggs really well. I found all of these pantry staples like mayo, mustard, and the bread and butter pickles at Ralph's or at Kroger's depending on where you live. Now we're just gonna give everything a mix, mix, mix. 
So I'm leaving my deviled eggs a little bit clumpy just for the effect of these like ghoulish deviled eggs. If you want it a lot smoother, just go ahead and cook your eggs a little longer and then it should be firm. But I really like the texture of this because it just goes so well with the theme. So I just added the eggs to a sandwich bag and I'm just gonna trim the tip and then pipe it in. I'm gonna add some sriracha veining to make them look bloodshot and then olives to complete the eyeballs. And then for our final touch, I'm gonna dust the eggs with a light sprinkle of chili powder. You can also use paprika if you can't handle more spiciness or even sometimes green herbs would work really well too. Eyeballs check, an eye-popping snack that will actually really keep you satisfied. So what's Halloween without some vampire teeth? Except this time, they're in the form of apples or pears. I'm gonna show you guys how to make delicious apple peanut butter pear teeth. I got some Honeycrisp apples here and some of these red pears, which I think would look so cool. But basically, we're gonna carve the apples and the pear. Make sure you cut out the core. Kroger has a true commitment to bringing fresh produce and ingredients front and center. Between the quality of fresh ingredients and seasonality of Kroger's produce options, there is great care that goes into selecting fresh produce and preserving freshness in every meal you cook. And now stabilize each of the pieces on one side and then just cut a smaller wedge into each one. Just make sure that you don't cut through the actual apple or the pear. I also wanna add some room for like an eyeball. We're all about the eyeballs. So I'm gonna just cut a small little piece on top. All right, now we're gonna stuff them with some peanut butter. You can put like a dollop here and then spread it all around here. And then for the teeth, I have some almond slices here. Now we could cut this in half. We can cut them in various shapes. If they crack, they're fine. These apples do not have perfect teeth. And they're also gonna have a tongue sticking out, so I'm gonna slice up some strawberries. Just twist the almond slices around, just give them like a really gnarly look. All right, so it could be complete like this, but I'm gonna add some eyeballs. How you like them apples? It's more like a piranha cyclops situation, but definitely scary and delicious too. This last one is gonna win me the Mummy of the Year award. All kids and adults alike love hot dogs, so I'm gonna be making mummy dogs using Simple Truth uncured beef hot dogs. This one doesn't have any nitrates, no antibiotics or hormones, so I feel good serving this to my family. So I have a sheet of thawed puff pastry. You can use crescent rolls or croissant rolls if you have them. Whichever one you prefer, they both work just fine. But I'm just gonna Slice them into one, two, three, four, five, six strips, even strips, and then wrap it around the hot dog. So with the puff pastry, I like to stretch it out to make it a little bit thinner. And then just take the hot dog, start at the top and wrap it, but make sure you leave a little bit of room. It does not have to be perfect. We're giving it a cap. It's gonna look kind of like a ninja. So this is a mummy. I'm gonna put this onto the baking sheet and then finish the rest. This would be a really fun project to do with your kids if they like helping in the kitchen. I know Cece would love doing this. The mummy looks good, but sometimes I like adding a little flair to it. So I have a little bit of melted butter and I'm just gonna brush a few and then sprinkle on some everything bagel seasoning. Then we're gonna pop these in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 minutes or until they're puffy and golden brown. They look amazing and smell so good. I've just made a little ketchup and mustard jar right here with the spider web inside, so. Of course, you guys know me. I always like to put things on a little board like this, a sampler board, if you will, of your favorite snacks for Halloween. I hope you guys found these spooktacular treats boo-tastic. I'm loving all the Halloween puns here. Anyways, comment below, let me know which one you would try and what you are planning to be dressed up as for Halloween. We're still trying to figure out our family costumes, so help me out. For all of your snacks and food goods though, be sure to check out Kroger. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can find the store closest to you for all the freshest produce and the pantry goods you need this Halloween season. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.